C4 is a powerful explosive, it's like the Superman of the explosive world, but instead of fighting for truth and justice, it's used for controlled demolitions and military operations. Think of those perfectly timed building implosions you see on TV, that's C4 in action. It's also the go-to explosive for the military because of its reliability and versatility. What makes C4 so special? It's all about its unique properties. C4 is incredibly stable, meaning it won't explode if you drop it or even shoot it. It needs a specific trigger to detonate, which makes it safe to handle and transport. And when it does explode, it packs a serious punch. This combination of power and stability makes C4 an essential tool for various applications. From safely demolishing structures to providing a tactical advantage in combat, C4 plays a crucial role in both civilian and military settings. But what exactly is this seemingly magical substance? Let's dive deeper. Imagine C4 as a delicious cake. Okay, maybe not delicious, but stay with me. The main ingredient, the flower of our explosive cake, is RDX. RDX stands for a very long and complicated chemical name, hexahydro 135 trinitro 135 triazine but just know that it's the stuff that makes C4 go boom. But you can't just have flour in a cake, can you? That's where the sugar and eggs of C4 come in. These are the binders and plasticizers that hold the RDX together and give C4 its unique texture. Think of it like Play-Doh, you can mold C4 into different shapes and stick it to surfaces. This malleability is one of the things that makes C4 so versatile. Need to blow up a bridge support? Just mold some C4 around it. Need to create a hole in a wall? Slap some C4 on there. It's like the duct tape of explosives. This unique combination of ingredients gives C4 its signature off-white color and putty-like consistency. It's not something you'd want to mistake for chewing gum, but its appearance belies its explosive potential. Now, let's take a closer look at the star of the show, RDX. RDX is like the heart of C4, the engine that drives its explosive power. Imagine it as a tightly wound spring, just waiting to be unleashed. Discovered in the 1920s, RDX quickly gained a reputation for its explosive potency and stability. What makes RDX so powerful? It all boils down to its chemical structure. When RDX detonates, its molecules break apart and reform into gas at an incredibly fast rate. This rapid expansion of gas creates a massive amount of energy, resulting in a powerful explosion. But RDX isn't just about brute force, it's also surprisingly stable, which is crucial for an explosive that needs to be handled and transported safely. Unlike some of its more volatile cousins, RDX won't explode if you drop it or expose it to heat. This combination of power and stability makes RDX the ideal ingredient for C4. It provides the necessary punch while remaining safe and predictable. But how do you actually set this explosive powerhouse off? Let's find out. Imagine trying to light a campfire with a single match. It's tricky, right? You need something to help get those flames going. The same goes for C4. You can't just light it with a match. You need a detonator, a special device that provides the initial spark to trigger the explosion. Think of a detonator as the match that ignites the RDX in C4. It creates a small but powerful shockwave that spreads through the C4, causing the RDX molecules to break apart and release their energy. This chain reaction is what results in the massive explosion we associate with C4. There are different types of detonators, but they all serve the same purpose, to initiate the detonation process safely and reliably. Some detonators use a small explosive charge while others use electrical signals. But no matter the method, the result is the same a controlled explosion that releases the immense power of C4. This controlled detonation is what makes C4 such a valuable tool. It allows us to harness the explosive power of RDX safely and predictably, whether we're demolishing buildings or clearing obstacles. Section 5. Controlled Demolitions with C4 Imagine a skyscraper collapsing in on itself, turning into a neat pile of rubble in a matter of seconds. That's the power of controlled demolition, and C4 is often the tool of choice for these spectacular feats of engineering. But it's not as simple as just slapping some C4 on a building and pressing a button. Controlled demolitions are complex operations that require careful planning and precise calculations. Engineers spend weeks, sometimes months, studying the building's structure, identifying weak points, and determining the exact amount of C4 needed for each section. The goal is to create a series of controlled explosions that weaken the building's support structure, causing it to collapse inward on itself. 
This minimizes damage to surrounding structures and ensures the safety of everyone involved. C4's malleability makes it ideal for this type of work. Engineers can mold it to fit the contours of any structure, ensuring the explosive force is directed exactly where it's needed. And because C4 is so stable, it won't detonate prematurely, even when subjected to the vibrations and shocks of a collapsing building. It's this combination of power, precision and stability that makes C4 an indispensable tool for controlled demolitions. Section 6 C4 in Military Use In the high-stakes world of military operations, C4 reigns supreme as a versatile and reliable explosive. It's the Swiss Army knife of demolitions, used for everything from breaching doors and clearing obstacles, to disabling enemy vehicles and destroying enemy fortifications. One of the key advantages of C4 in military applications is its compactness and ease of use. Soldiers can carry several blocks of C4 without adding excessive weight to their gear. And when the situation demands, they can quickly mold the C4 into the desired shape and attach it to the target. Another advantage is C4's stability. In the heat of battle the last thing soldiers need to worry about is their explosives detonating prematurely. C4's resistance to shocks, friction and even small arms fire ensures that it will only detonate when intended. This combination of power, portability and stability makes C4 an invaluable asset for military personnel operating in diverse and often dangerous environments. Whether it's clearing a path for troops or disabling enemy infrastructure, C4 provides a decisive advantage on the battlefield. Section 7. Safe and Steady the C4 advantage. Now you might be thinking, hold on, we're talking about a powerful explosive here. How can it be safe? And you'd be right to ask that question. But that's the beauty of C4. It's designed with safety in mind. Unlike some other explosives that can detonate from the slightest bump or spark, C4 is remarkably stable. You can drop it, kick it, even shoot it with a gun, and it won't explode. That's because C4 needs a very specific set of conditions to detonate, conditions that are only met when a detonator is used. This stability is crucial for both handling and transporting C4. It gives military personnel and demolition experts peace of mind, knowing that they can work with this powerful explosive without the risk of accidental detonation. It's like having a lion as a pet, but knowing it will only roar when you say so. This safety aspect of C4 is a testament to the ingenuity of its design. It's a powerful explosive, yes, but it's also a controlled one, designed to detonate only when intended. And that's a good thing because it allows us to harness its power for a wide range of applications without compromising safety. Section 8. Keeping C4 under control. With great power comes great responsibility, as the saying goes. And C4, with its impressive explosive capabilities, is no exception. That's why strict regulations and controls are in place to prevent its misuse and keep it out of the wrong hands. Think of it like a powerful prescription medication. You need a doctor's authorization to access it and for good reason. In the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. The same goes for C4. In most countries, C4 is tightly controlled and only available to authorized personnel such as military and law enforcement agencies. These agencies have strict protocols for storing, handling and using C4 to ensure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. These regulations are essential for maintaining public safety and preventing C4 from being used for illegal or dangerous activities. It's a reminder that even though C4 is a valuable tool, it's crucial to use it responsibly and ethically. Section 9C4 versus Other Explosives So, how does C4 stack up against other explosives like dynamite or TNT? It's like comparing apples, oranges, and maybe a pineapple for good measure. Each explosive has its own strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for different applications. Dynamite, for example, is known for its shattering power, making it ideal for mining and quarrying. TNT, on the other hand, has a higher detonation velocity making it more effective for military applications that require a brisant explosion. C4, however, stands out for its versatility, stability, and plasticity. It's like the multi-tool of the explosive world. You can mold it to fit any shape, it won't explode unless you want it to, and it packs a serious punch. This unique combination of properties makes C4 a preferred choice for many demolition and military tasks. It's not always the most powerful explosive, 
but its versatility and reliability make it a valuable asset in a wide range of situations. In the end, the best explosive for the job depends on the specific requirements of the task at hand. But C4, with its unique set of properties, will undoubtedly continue to play a vital role in both civilian and military applications for years to come.